Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going through my favorite art supplies and I I haven't planned anything. I'm just winging this because I actually don't have any videos to post at the moment because I'm focusing on um Hi there. Hi baby. So I'm focusing on drawings that I'm going to be giving away as Christmas gifts. So, you know, I can't show them until after Christmas. So, until then, this is the best thing that I have. <laughs> and before I get into that, I just want to show <laughs> I just want to show you guys something. Look at these posters. Oh my gosh. My sister, she bought a pack of different like Haikyuu thingies from I believe the website was Desert Cart or something like that. And I want to show off the little stickers that she gave me. <laughs> um there was a your line april sticker in there for some reason <laughs> so i just i took that my favorite character is yamaguchi so she gave me some yamaguchi stickers like look at them oh my gosh a little suki to match my yamaguchi Ooh, and another yamaguchi and then kenma with kitties because i also really love kenma and the yellow team i don't, can't remember their name but they're just such a vibe <laughs> Okay, now we can get on with the video. <laughs> also, if you hear weird noises, it's because my cat probably, most likely, has asthma. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just start off with all my favorite paper. Here are my pencil paper, I guess. <laughs> this is for some bigger drawings, then. I really like to use this one. Wait. Ta-da! <laughs> So yeah, these these are the paper that I recommend for pencils. Not that I've tried any other kind, really, but... <laughs> and I've tried a few different kinds of watercolor paper, and I think this is my favorite one. So I re really recommend this for watercolors and gouache and stuff like that. It's also smooth, so you could also use like markers on this. But this is my absolute favorite marker paper. And I've tried quite a few different brands, and this is just, this is the best in my opinion. So I really recommend this. It's nice and smooth, but it's also thick, and it won't kill your markers. So, yeah, I really recommend this. I don't have so many different kinds of ink, but from the ones that I have tried, this is definitely my favorite kind. Christmas gifts. And then this is the only gouache that I have. <laughs> it's the only gouache that I've tried even. But I really like it. So I would definitely recommend the Himi Mia gouache set. Oh, don't eat the ribbons. And when it comes to watercolor, I have two different sets, but I'm not much of a watercolor person. So yeah, <laughs> I won't be showing that. Here are my brushes, but I think my favorite brushes are the ones that are shaped more like this. Ooh. <laughs> or maybe like this. I like those. And then these are the best for like watercolor and gouache and stuff. Next up are my favorite pencils. And here's the Tire Prismacolor set. Of course I grabbed the one pencil that's not Prismacolor. I have three pencils in this entire set that are not Prismacolor pencils. Of course I grabbed the one that isn't. <laughs> Here we go. Prismacolor. Okay, that was a bad example. There we go. Oh. Baby. Prismacolor pencils. They're definitely very good. <laughs> I recommend those. And if not those, then I would recommend the Favorite Castell Polychromos. I only have three of them, but I really like them. Definitely if you prefer less oily pencils, then I would recommend them. I don't have so many different kinds of acrylic paints. I just have, you know, these. That's just because this is what my town offers. So I don't have a lot of other, you know, options. Just gonna get it on this, and then two of these, but they work, so <laughs> they're good enough, I guess. Right, baby? And then 
the moment we've all been waiting for. Here are my Copic markers. These are my babies. I have a few more in here. Some more that can't fit in here, and I have some chows. These are the sketch markers, and these are the chows. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I've tried some different kinds of markers, not, not a lot of different kinds, <laughs> but everyone who knows anything about markers, oh, baby, look at my marker. Anyone who knows anything about markers, they just know that these are the best. These are just the best of the best. Uh, that's just how it is. <laughs> I mean, there are some, you know, Copic dupes. There are some other kinds that get close to Copics, but I don't think any brand will ever really surpass Copics. Um, I can't really think of any cons. It's just nothing but pros. Okay, baby, let's leave. Bye-bye, baby. Copics are just the best of the best. Um... I can only think of pros. The only con I can think of is that they are very expensive. That's to be expected when you're buying the best of the best. So, yeah. They're also really expensive because they have brush nibs. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some other markers that I also really like are the brush markers. I don't have very many of them, but... I mean, they do work well. At least the few of them that I have tried. I think I have like four or five. Otherwise, I just have like pro markers. And I'm not a big fan of them because they have the bullet nib instead of um, the brush nib. <laughs> but I mean, they're still good. I know that every artist out there is screaming at me right now because this is the tiniest little pencil case ever. <laughs> And you're probably thinking, how can you fit anything in there? But there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, I bought this pencil case because, well, I guess what was going through my mind was portability. I wanted something small and lightweight that I could bring around whenever I just want to sketch. So here are my absolute, absolute favorite art supplies that I must have. I mean, you know, we need to take away all this. <laughs> my sketching and inking supplies and stuff like that that's all in here so this is all my must-have art supplies that I use for basically every drawing but first of all here is my needable eraser oh my gosh I recommend one of these to every artist out there <laughs> if I can ever get it out Ta -da! I like this to erase my pencil lines before going in with the line art <laughs> so that, you know, I won't destroy the paper. You know when you're using a regular eraser, you know, you just, mm -hmm, and then the paper just like crumbles up. Yeah, I speak out of experience. That's why I have a little bit of trauma with that and I like using these. <laughs> also, if you just want to erase something lightly without erasing it completely, these are really good. To some other stuff in my little pencil case, I have this, this little eraser. It's nothing amazing, it works fine. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Baby. This is probably my favorite eraser ever. Just because, look at that, it's so tiny, right? It's so tiny. It's awesome, it's so great for tiny details and like sketches and stuff. I'm just like, boop, boop. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend this for anyone. If you live in Norway, you can buy the you can buy this at Tudus. That's where I bought. That's where I bought it. And then here is the absolute best gel pen in my opinion. I've tried um, what are they called? Like regular jelly rolls. They don't work very well. Don't buy them. <laughs> They're not worth it. And then I guess wait. This one? No, that's not it. Never mind. I don't have it. No, I do have it. <laughs> this one was better than the jelly rolls, and I used this until I found that. Wait, that? <laughs> this one? 
So I've tried about three different kinds of like white gel pens, but this is just the absolute best one, the Uniball Signo white gel pen. It just, it works so well, seriously guys. You need this, you need this. <laughs> so this is what I use to make like the whites and the eyes and tiny details like that. This is my favorite mechanical pencil. Not that I really have many. I'm not, I'm not so picky with sketching pencils. I just kind of take whatever I have around. And this is this is my favorite. Um, oh, <laughs> so this is my favorite mechanical pencil. I used to use this one, but it's like really hard, and it would hurt my hand after a while. So now this is my favorite. <laughs> I still have that in here though for some reason. Here are some sketching pencils. I believe they're from two different brands. Uh, yeah, I believe this, okay. I believe this is from Prismacolor and then this is from Sketcher, I guess. <laughs> and this one doesn't work as well as that one, but you know, it still works well. These are pencils that are meant for sketching. That's why there's a little eraser on the end. So you can't erase them. I completely used this up, look at this little guy. <laughs> So yeah, I believe this is from Prismacolor, the, the Prism Prismacolor Scholar, I guess, red sketching pencil. I, I use this for just about every drawing, it's really good. And then if I just wanna, you know, make a sketch but not have the colored sketching pencils, I'll use this one. Nothing, nothing special, just something I can find around in my hometown. <laughs> and then I've tried a lot of different like liners and this is definitely my favorite one the Copic multi liners so I used to use black I still use black for the eyes and you know any other details on a drawing that is black but for everything else this is the holy grail for me this is just my lord and savior <laughs> I use I use this pen for absolutely every drawing I make. <laughs> well, you know, out of the ones on paper. It's 0 0.1. It's sepia. It's good. I recommend it. Please buy it. Please use it. <laughs> and then the last thing I have is just some, you know, lead for my mechanical pencils. I just realized that I probably shouldn't have made this video until after Christmas because I... I'm assuming that I'm going to be getting art supplies for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll have to make one of these videos every year in case, you know, my favorites change or I find new favorites or something like that. For the last item I'm going to be showing in this video, it's my iPad. I can't remember exactly what kind it is, but I believe it's like an iPad Pro 2 or something like that. And then I have my Apple Pencil here. And yeah. I use the app Procreate to make my drawings, and um, yeah, I can't remember how much it costs. I think I paid like 50 Norwegian kroners when it came out, but that was a few years ago, so I don't know if the price has gone up or gone down or what, but yeah, I think that if you want to get into digital art, um, you know, on an iPad or something like that, not, not like a drawing tablet, then I think Procreate is just... The way to go. <laughs> oh, but if you want to use something that's free, here's a, um, a few different like art thingies that I have downloaded that I, I try out every now and then. But if I were to recommend any that's free, go with this one, okay? Seriously, go with that one. <laughs> well, that one works too. That one I think you need a subscription for. But I think you can... I don't know if this is a free version or if, it's, if I'm just using trial or what, but... <laughs> yeah, Medibang. Medibang paint, definitely. But if you're willing to pay a little bit, then definitely Procreate. Procreate is just amazing. Wait, let me just... I'm using my left hand, so this won't look very good, but yeah. Here's some... Wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here are some drawings that I've made on Procreate. Some very old drawings, and then some newer ones. Like... No, that's not the one I meant to click on, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> My most recent fan art is, I guess, this one, Akashi. So, yeah, you can zoom in and. 
and it's nice because you can also wait go to settings and canvas and canvas information it has all these different kinds of information <laughs> and the statistics and then i'll tell you like how many strokes you made and how much time you spent on this drawing i spent six and a half hours on this <laughs> so yeah that's pretty interesting and if you look on video and time lapse replay it automatically uh, records your progress i guess <laughs> so yeah you can watch it come to life <laughs> and you can export it and, and stuff so yeah i definitely really recommend this what i like to do with procreate is i like to make the like first sketches <laughs> using this like here. I sketch it out on Procreate first and then I print it out on printer paper. Uh, and then I tape my good marker paper onto the printer paper and then I use this light box. It's from Copic, it's just a Copic lead tracer or something like that, I think. And then just trace it over with my, my multi-liners and yeah, that's how I make my drawings. I recommend the Copic lead tracer, by the way, but I, I would, recommend, I would recommend getting a flat light box though, because mine is kind of bulky and it's kind of weird, so I would recommend a flat one. <laughs> but yeah, wait. And I also like touch up on here as well. So, like here, with Hisoka, I added like some last minute details and messed around with it a little bit. Like before, it looked like this, and then afterwards, boom. It makes all the difference in the world, especially because, you know, when I'm taking photos and stuff, it doesn't always capture it exactly how it looks in real life. So I need to go in and tweak it a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Why don't we just have a little test run for you guys? <laughs> what pencil should we use? I guess I could take this one. Uh, you can draw light and draw hard and... <laughs> I really recommend it. Color wheel, layers, eraser, smudge, pencil, or paintbrush, I guess. With all these different brushes. Oh shit. You can even like download and import different brushes as well. So yeah, I just recommend this. Then you can mess around with different things here. Out of all the like drawing programs or apps or anything, this is definitely the easiest one to use in my opinion. Oh shit. So yeah, Procreate is just a win. Just if you can, if you have an iPad or something, then yeah, Procreate, Procreate all the way. <laughs> also, this is my favorite pencil sharpener. It's from Prismacolor. I'm not sure if they if it came with one of my pencils or what, but I have it. I'm not sure how I have it, but <laughs> maybe I got it for my birthday one year or something. Yeah, this is the best one. <laughs> You can like pencil up, uh, what? <laughs> you can like sharpen them in different ways as well, right? Like if you want the end to be more like this, this is what I prefer, then you know, you take that one. <laughs> or if you want them to be more like, like this red pencil, then you sharpen it on that one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting, I guess. <laughs> I forgot to mention this, but you know, Prism Prismacolor, um, I think it's Prismacolor and the Faber-Castell Poly or Polychromos. I think those are like the top tier pencils that you can buy, but they're also very expensive. So if you can't afford them or you don't want to spend that kind of money on pencils, um, these two are both, they're, they're very good. <laughs> they're just tiny little packs, but they work amazingly. <laughs> and I also feel like I should mention my watercolor um, markers, I guess. I really like these. The Koi coloring brush pens and then the Eco line or whatever. Those are also very good. So yeah, here are the two watercolors that I own. I have the Van Gogh set. And then I have <clears throat> Koi Noor or however you say it. <clears throat> They're both fine. I don't know if they suck or if I suck, but <laughs> you know, I mean they are good. I just don't understand how to use watercolors. <laughs> And then I would I would recommend this acrylic varnish. The only the only kind I've ever used, but yeah, it's for just to make it a little glossy. Yeah.
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Sunday, hopefully with an actual speed paint this time. <laughs>